Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of a gravel pit calculus here. And so you get a job in the gravel pit and uh, kind of on one of your days, they hook you up running the rock crusher and you're like, sweet, I'm gonna be ro running the rock crusher. And it's really cool because they come up and they pour the rocks into the rock crusher and the rock crusher grinds them up into gravel and then a conveyor belt takes them up and then it drops them off and it drops them into a conical pile. And so the rocks are dropping onto a conical pile and you're just like, oh, that's sweet, I'm crushing rocks. Okay, well then, you know, kind of the, the uh, amusement of running the rock crusher wears off after about half a day. But fortunately for you, there's some really, really interesting physics and uh, mathematics uh, so, well, the mathematics that I'm going to go into isn't all that crazy, but just an advanced thing for you to think about is that uh, the, um, the pattern This is just something that I'm going to uh, put out there to entice the uh, physics-minded rock crushers of the world that you can look up on this and you can observe it and it's really fascinating is that the pattern of the avalanches that the rock makes as it's sliding down the conical pile is going to be, it's going to be chaotic. And that has a very specific uh, definition and you can learn as much as you want about it and become an expert in rock crushing physics. So this is just gonna be a little intro into rock crushing calculus. Okay, so suppose your rock crusher is sending uh, one half of a cubic meter of rock per second. So half a cubic meter per second is going up the conveyor belt, okay? And now this conveyor belt is, uh, the top of this conveyor belt is let's just say 50 feet off the, uh, off the deck. And what you have to do is once that pile gets up to, once that pile gets up to say 50 feet, we'll just say 50 feet just to make it a nice round number. Um, let's just, why don't we just make it 15 meters, why not? keep it metric. <clears throat> Once it's 15 meters tall, then uh, you have to move the, you have to move that to a different place so that you're going to drop your gravel onto a different pile. Okay, so you say to yourself, well, okay, now the pile is 7.5 meters up. So I'm halfway there, right? So seven and a half meters is halfway to 15. Okay, so then I should be done. That took like a, that took a certain amount of time. So I should be done in a certain amount of time and double that I should be done. It doesn't work that way. Okay, because as it grows, as the rock pile grows up, it also grows side to side. And so the rock pile makes a cone and the volume of the cone is going to be one third base times height and my base is going to be pi r squared and we're going to have if you look you'll see that your rock pile is probably going to have an angle of approximately 30 degrees. So if I do a little Pythagorean, if I do a little 30, 60, 90 triangle, if this is one and this is two, this is root three. So I can say that your radius is gonna be root three times your height. Okay, so putting those all together, that means that my base or my volume is going to be one third times my base, which is pi 
root 3 times h squared times my height. So um, just sort of making that work nicely, my volume is going to be, that's going to be 3 times 1 third, kind of looks out nice, pi h cubed. So my volume is pi h cubed. Now, I say that my dv dt, how fast the volume is changing, is going to be equal to 3 pi h squared dh dt. OK, so let's run some numbers. When your pile, so, so let's just say, let's just change that around, dh dt is equal to uh, dv dt divided by 3 pi h squared. <clears throat> so if you're putting on rock at a constant uh, 0.5 meters cubed per second and the pile is only one meter tall, then your dh dt is going to be 0.5 divided by 3 divided by pi divided by um, 1, I'm going to call it 1.0 squared. So it's growing at your right now your your pile is growing at 5.3 centimeters per second and so then you go oh great I gotta go 15 meters so I did 15 divided by that and you get okay 282 seconds divide that by 60 that's 4.7 minutes that's sweet like I don't know what the big deal is I'm gonna have this rock pile grown up to 15 meters at 4.7 seconds. Doesn't work that way. When your rock pile is 7.5 meters tall, it's now growing at 0 0.94 millimeters per second. So now it's growing at less than a millimeter per second. Okay, so, well, what's 15 divided by that? 15 divided by that, divided by uh, 60, uh, divide by 60 again. That's 4.4 hours. So now, if I'm going to go at this rate, it's going to be 4.4 hours. And you're like, well, 4.4 hours, that's not all that bad. Okay, well, it gets worse. Oh, call that 15, 14.9, let's call it. So let's go, fourteen point nine, and now it's growing at 0.24 millimeters per second. Okay, so you start off and you're all excited. Just like you, when you're starting to watch this video, you're all excited and now you're kind of bored, right? So it starts off at 5.3 centimeters per second. That pile is just cruising up. Then it slows down to 0.94 millimeters per second. And then when you're really bored, it's just creeping up at 0.24 millimeters per second. But of course, you could have used algebra because you could have said, if I've got 
the I could say that the volume of my pile is going to be pi times 15 cubed and I gotta divide that by half a meter cubed per second and I gotta divide that by 60 to get minutes divide that by 60 to get hours and I'm gonna be it's gonna take me basically six hours so you're in it for six hours that's how long you're gonna to take to build up the pile but the pile the height of the pile is gonna grow slower and slower and slower as you get up to that magic number of 15 meters per second